Stick your toe in it and they suck it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, a lot of people say the best revenge in life is success. Mm -hmm. But if you just go out there into the world and crush it, that'll get it. That'll show them. Yeah. Wrong. That's a loser mentality. Exactly. Yeah. The best revenge is to actually follow someone when they leave their work. Okay. You're in your car and you follow them. Right. And when they're walking down their street towards their home, you mount the curb. Wow. Okay. And you actually mow them down. And when they bounce off your windshield and are laying on the ground struggling to breathe, you go up and lean down and whisper in their ear, gotcha. I mean, that's just a much more satisfying way to get revenge than becoming successful. That's what I'm talking about. That's fantastic. Nicole, do you have a chance? Yes, I have a chance. Everyone has a chance. What was it? A chance. <laughs> chance. I'll have whatever she's having. You know what a vagina is, Cam Capone? A vagina is a vagina with an R. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking Vagina. Give me some of that vagina. Stop it. Get some help. Something that you can eat every single day and not get tired of. Fellas, if she's not interested in you, she will use this word. The word is... We don't give a fuck! What turns you on the bedroom? Choking. I'm gonna be completely honest. Choking. Like to the point where you can't breathe, or what? I wouldn't say that. Like I don't feel like I'm that much of a psycho. <laughs> Women. <laughs> Sensational. I'm 31. I don't have any kids. I got a credit score of 803, exact. Recently pulled. I have two paid-off cars. I'm about to close on my first house this year in May. I'm not toxic at all. I got a big booty. I'm releasing an app on iOS and Android. I work hard as fuck. I'm not clingy, but I'll always make sure my partner feels appreciated. Okay, so I don't cook, but I can. I can learn. And it's not like I don't know how to cook, but I just don't cook as much as I should. I'm probably not as feminine as the average feminine female, but I, I wear heels, I dress up. I just feel like I have a very dominant personality. I'm 5'8 in my head, but 5'4 on paper. I've never actually lived with a partner before. I'm just trying to figure out how am I not married with five kids running around? Like what the fudge am I doing wrong? Most people say, oh, I don't give people a chance. Yes, I do. I have boundaries though. And I don't let people fuck me over, I'm gonna say more than three times, cause I give chances. I even give you a second chance. But it's so easy for me to just walk the fuck out once you start playing with me. But I still don't understand how I'm still single. Men don't want a strong masculine dominant woman and we don't care about your accolades. Now in the video she mentions that she has a good credit score, she owns two cars, she's about to close on a house, she's about to launch an Android and Apple app and she has a big booty. Now these things are great for her but how are they beneficial to a man? What a man is looking for is a woman who's fit, feminine, friendly, soft. Is she going to add value to her lifestyle? Is she going to complement her lifestyle? Is she caring, loving, nurturing? Is she going to cook, clean for us? Is she going to be our peace? And when we get into a relationship, you're going to tell me that my money is our money and your money is your money. Now, gentlemen, if this woman doesn't stop being delusional and starts operating in reality, I see her future filled with loneliness, depression, a box of wine and cards. Men age like wine and women age like milk. The longer the milk sits on the counter, the worse it gets. But of course, you ladies don't like to hear the hard truth, but that's the reality of it. The longer you remain single, 
the worse it gets for you because men admire younger women. The older you get, you're gonna become less and less desirable. That's why she can't find a man at 40. The idea is in your 20s, you find a man that you feel that like you can go the full distance with and you stick with that man, you build with him. That is how it should be done. Don't try to degrade him. Don't try to humiliate him because you're making more money than him. This is why men stay away. They're not intimidated by your money. They are put off by your attitude. For some reason, women feel that, hey, I'm gonna wait at the finish line and I'm only gonna pick the winners. Ah, first, second, third. And she's running after him with the thousand other women who want the first, second, and third. What's your body count? 20. 20. Let me go to my notes app. I'll just show it to the camera. <laughs> it's, it's just a list. So, you know, we got all that. that okay, so, period. like... I don't regret a single one. We all have fun. Okay, so, like, we on all the number, what, what, how, how much you think that this is? This gotta be at least 60. What? At least 60. Uh, she got 60. I have more than that. <gasps> yeah. Oh, Are we counting work or not work? Because okay. I do this for work. Okay. Yeah, so if we're counting work, I don't. Jesus can't save these hoes. Why are you trying? She belongs to the streets. If you think that you know a girl's body count is three, but then some fourth ex-boyfriend messages you, hey, I was with her too, and you're like, ah, it's actually four. It's 4,000. <laughs> it is 4,444,000. <laughs> Because if you think you're looking at the tip of the iceberg, be like, ah, I see the whole picture now. For I was blind, and now I see you are wrong. I'm the first grandkid. Of course, I'm the most spoiled. My granddaughter's a bitch. Nina, you have to say something nice about me. My granddaughter's a bitch. I met Trey back in 2013. Uh, we went to college together at Indiana State University. Um, he's a part of a fraternity there, so he was real known on campus, seen around Which a lot. Which fraternity is that? I'm the Alphas. And so... Um, gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. You're probably the 30-year-old virgin in your mom's basement, and I'm the one with a list. Huh? Here's my list. Congrats. Uh, I love this list. I beg your pardon? It's literally called Guys I've Slept With. And it has their, um, their first name and the first letter of their last name and when it happened and uh, if it was good or not. <laughs> she belongs to the streets. So how would y'all feel if hey, y'all flew? You your Wait, phone, cause how would y'all feel if y'all flew a dude out? Wow. Spent twenty three hundred wow. for his plane ticket, and he don't even want to fuck. Why you gotta dig her fucking guts out till she motherfucking bust? Like, listen, listen, I didn't come here to have like. Sex with you. Look like, at this. I appreciate you flying me out, but listen, I don't just have such people on the first day. Okay, but it don't. It's been a few hours. Like we mean? didn't watch what movies. Mean, we Netflix and chill. Vibe out. Get to know each other more. That's I, what I'm trying to do. I'm trying I'm, to vibe out. Like, come on, man. Who just want to sit on, and with a dude? Like, Nick, I'm trying to get lifted. Freaking plane, bro. Are you serious? Like, you really tripping? I'm about trying that? to. I didn't spend my money for nothing. I'm saying, like, why are you trying to like come at me because I don't want to have sex with you? you because, be like, what's you your should, problem? You really like, is happy. it little? I don't want to have sex with you. What you mean is little? Like, no. Listen. Are you ashamed? Like, it's okay. Like, I don't day. mind. I didn't have little. Wow, that's what I'm saying. Your wife is tripping, bro. Like, don't do that to me. Seriously. That's don't. weird. Don't like, don't do that to me. Like, don't. I ain't had to come out here. I thought we was gonna get to know each other. Maybe go on a nice little date, but you're talking about know sex. Each other. That's wild to me. Go bro. on a date. That's all you're thinking about, man. You made me wish I could I need to know what here. that like before I even go on a date. Like, wow, listen, how about this? How about I get your money back? I'm not finna play with you. you really, like, you want me to listen. go on a date, spend all this, waste my time, and I get up in here and you're probably little. Like, how about I get your money back? Because I'm not finna go back and forth about Get sex, my money though. back. Why didn't you just I'm pay for your I'll ticket then? back because I thought you, you, you said you wanted to fly me out. All right? And I did. All right, so how about this? I'm gonna cash up your money back. All right? And you do that shit with somebody else because you're, you're not finna. Because she want to get dug out. She don't want no nice guy. Do men or women cheat the most? Women. Y'all, we be trying to front like them niggas be doing all of that. But women cheat more, especially the LGBT.
the community, they think they sneaky and they want to have like a whole bunch of bitches and you know what I'm saying? Women cheat more. It's okay. Hey, do men or women cheat the most? Women. We're more sneaky. We can manipulate you and just get away with it more. Hey, do men or women cheat the most? Women cheat the most because I am a great cheater. You just have to have a really good lie for your story. So, yeah. Jesus can't save these hoes. Why are you trying? She belongs to the streets.